are at Tuto Pasta with Chef Yuka. Thank you for having us. No, thank you to come here and do this interview. How long you've been here? We've been here since 1994. I think I'm one of the pioneers in this area of Rico. You know, because when I first opened here, so it's only, I would say, probably four restaurants in the whole area. Walk me through those special ingredients that you have for those dishes. That's the secret. Everybody asks me. <laughs> Everybody asks me about that. Everything here, it, it's homemade, okay? From the bread we make daily, for the desserts, the pasta. The pasta now, my kids took over. And everything here is made by order. You know, it's nothing pre-cooked. I want to see the ingredients that I buy and that's you know, I make it my recipes. You know, the customers appreciate that. I still have customers like you probably being come here for 20 years or more, right? Absolutely. I have customers being come here for 25 years and it's been coming like a generations after generations. So you branched out besides your Italian restaurant, you decided to do pizzas. Talk to me about Tutto Pizza. Before I opened Tutto Pizza, I opened a deli, Italian deli. I think I was a little bit ahead of the game because this area was not, you know, as it is today. And then Publix opened up here and then that killed me because oh. <laughs> people was comparing my stuff with the stuff from Publix, which is a big difference. What happened? I closed the deli and I thought, I said, listen, why not I make a pizza with a wood oven, thin crust? I had to make something different to succeed, you know, to make it. So, so, so you don't just have one business here. You have two. Yes. And what is the special ingredient that you have to your pizzas? Because it has a distinctive flavor. It's what makes people come back. Listen, the secret in the pizza, it's the dough, which is the flour. I use Italian flour. Okay, it's the best. The tomato, it's Italian. And the mozzarella. That's the secret of the pizza. If you have those three secrets, that's it. I know there's someone very special in your life that works alongside you. Oh, my wife. <laughs> Luiselle, yeah, she's helped me here a lot. You know, she's always, you know, of course, back of the house, but sometimes she helps on the front of the house. She should be in the front of the house because she's really good in the front <laughs> of the house as well. <laughs> so this is a true family run business. It is. Through those doors have walked in many people, very well known in the community, and they still keep coming back. What do you tell someone that is starting a business today, a family run from the bottom up? What would be your advice? The two secrets here, it's only servers and quality. If you got those two, you don't have to worry about And I think those are your key ingredients. That's why you have such a successful business. Are you gonna be walking me through this tour of delicious dishes? I'm gonna let my wife do that. So we chose some of our customers' favorite dishes here. Let's start with spaghetti and meatballs, okay? We make our meatballs, we make our spaghetti. Uh, the boys actually are the ones that are making all our pastas now. Congratulations. Okay, thank you, yeah, we're very proud. This is actually off menu, but people come and people use this restaurant as their kitchen. So we literally have clients that come, they don't even look at the menu and they tell us what they wanna eat, you know? And this is something that people order off menu all the time. This particular dish, which is basically the linguine with shrimp, asparagus, and a very light tomato sauce with sauteed garlic. This is a favorite and this is on the menu, which is the seafood risotto. I have to tell you, I'm not a fan of risotto, unless my husband makes it. And the gnocchi is also made in-house with our pesto sauce, also freshly made. I saved the best for last. This is the filet mignon medallions. It's in a fig sauce. Wow. Yeah, it's very good. We top it with goat cheese, but the pear and gorgonzola ravioli, when my husband first opened this restaurant and he would offer it to clients, and nobody would try it. They thought he was insane. And he started sending little samples to the table. And 30 years later, none of our raviolis can basically knock this one off of the number one list. We make so many raviolis, but Perrin Gorgonzola are still a favorite. 
Mango cheesecakes is also an absolute favorite. This is your traditional tiramisu, and the pavé is actually my late mother-in-law's recipe. This is a traditional Brazilian dessert. It actually has galletica de Maria, eh? dipped in oh. chocolate. <laughs> yeah, dipped in chocolate milk, condensed milk, strawberries, and the right. chanti. Yeah, this is just a sample, but these are customer favorites. And like that, if you go to Tuto Pizza, one of my favorite desserts we have there, which is the guava souffle with cream cheese and guava ice cream. So it's the traditional, but there's always the influence of, you know, our Latin American heritage and our Miami heritage. You have the total Miami vibe and so does this restaurant, right? Oh, thank You're you. in the heart of the city of Miami. We are. We've been here for 30 years and we're very grateful to the city. Uh, we're very grateful to its residents, you know, for continuing to come, to continue to appreciate all the work and all the effort that goes into a family business. Like he said, we refuse to sell out. Everything is made in house and we're very happy and we're very proud of, of that. I want to thank you both. Oh, thank for you. welcoming us and the entire team because we wanted to highlight your restaurant and the fact that you have this family-run restaurant in the heart of the city of Miami. Thank you and may you have continued success for many years. <music>